Oh, well, that got nervy towards the end of the game, but we managed to hold on and we've capitalised for the first time in God knows how long on everybody else around us dropping points other than Liverpool, who obviously beat Spurs with a Firmino header right at the end of the game. But yeah, uh, Spurs, sorry, Liverpool play today, um, you know, when this uh, video is being recorded. We play tomorrow against Leeds. Um, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like doing slightly late uh, uh, match reviews just to kind of analyse the rest of what's going on in the Premier League and let it digest. Sometimes, you know, if it's a bad result or it's a particularly ridiculously good result, like if we bat the leads, I'll probably do it straight after the game because the emotion is what counts. But sometimes, just a little bit of, um, well, not reaction kind of, but just letting it settle and processing what the results actually mean. And yeah, in this case, that's exactly what I've done. So that's why I'm uploading it on a Saturday, two days after we've played. Um, but yeah, finished 3-2 against Sheffield United. I cannot understand how this team is on one point in the Premier League. I feel like they're much better than that. I'll be shocked if you know they don't start picking up points soon because they're well drilled. Uh, I think we deserve the win, um, but I, I just, I feel like, you know that they shouldn't be where they are uh, with the level of effort they gave and the performance in spells during the game. You know, uh, it flattered them in the end, scoring two. But you know, it doesn't take away from how structured they were. Really, is what I'm trying to say. But anyhow, uh, we gift them an early lead. Like Dean Henderson gets the nod. I was happy with this. You know, it's his former club, Sheffield United. He gets to show what he can do. But he made one mistake for Sheffield United all last season, and of course. In his second Premier League start for Manchester United, he makes an error. And uh, it's a, 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 a horrendous one. Maguire shouldn't have passed him the ball either. But, uh, yeah, he, he just can't recover. And uh, is it McGoldrick manages to get a goal? And now this this dude, uh, I think he's scored six now against top six opposition. And I don't even think he's got a goal in the Premier League against anyone else. He scored three versus Chelsea, two versus us. And I think it's one versus Arsenal or something like that. But, uh, anyhow... So we, we go behind traditional Manchester United going behind away from home. But <laughs> traditional Manchester United don't, you know, let it get to them. For whatever reason, I, I just, I, we're such a strange team. I don't know why we go behind so often, but you always feel like, it's particularly away from home, that we can get back in it and turn it around. That's exactly what we did. And it was through Marcus Rashford this time. Um, i trying to remember the first goal, actually, that he scored. What? What was it? Um, oh, yeah, it was that uh, ridiculous... Uh, well, I say ridiculous. It's just a ball through from Lindelof. Uh, you know, it's a forward pass. And that's one thing that Lindelof doesn't get enough praise for. He, his forward-thinking passes. He tends to do this a lot in games, and it worked. A treat. It, it's a long ball, of course it is. But, yeah, it's a wonderful touch from Rashford. And the finish just catches the keeper off guard, really. I think the keeper expects him to take another touch just to, you know, get it out of his feet because it doesn't look like... It, it's perfectly set up for him to volley it, but he volleys it and it goes in. Well done, Rashford. You know, that's his 11th goal of the season so far in all competitions. Four assists as well. But yeah, shortly after, I think it's seven minutes later, we get a goal and it's a wonderful pass from Paul Pogba. Yes, I got infuriated with him, you know, because of Mino Raiola's BS and, uh, you know, the, the, the loss in the Champions League, uh, considering it was a day before. It, it was just the worst possible timing and that was planned nobody can tell me uh, otherwise but for as long as he's a Manchester United player I'm going to back him of course I was a little overly harsh but it's just infuriating particularly when you've got a player of that ilk who you know can be world class on his day it's just it's really sad and it hurts when you know they come out with uh, all the stuff that they do with the media. But anyhow, aside from that, as I say, I'll back him while he's got the United shirt on. And he was wonderful today. He, he was probably man of the match uh, up there alongside Rashford. I think Rashford was probably man of the match because of the two goals. But I'd put Pogba just behind there uh, today. He was absolutely terrific. And yet, yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful pass. Straight to Martial. I don't, uh, you know... It's the fact that before he took the pass, he, he looked, before Pogba received the ball, he looked, he could see where Martial was and was hoping he was going to run, which he did, because I, I think Martial kind of gestured towards Pogba to try and, you know, put it over, and Pogba does, and uh, Martial takes a touch, gets around the keeper and scores. Brilliant for both Pogba and Martial, you know, the French connection, but Martial really needed a goal uh, just to boost his confidence, you feel, I know he got a penalty, but... Um, 
Yeah, an open open play goal. It'll do the world good for him. Uh, so delighted. Deserved his goal today. I thought he was very, very good. Um, and then, yeah, we pushed on. We probably should have scored another one, uh, maybe another two. Uh, but I think it goes into, into halftime 2-1. And yeah, early in the second half, there was a couple of early scares. I think Dean Henderson made a wonderful save. Um, but we piled on the pressure and we managed to get the third goal. And this, this is Ollie Ball. You know, for all his haters, for all his criticism, for all his PE teacher nonsense with no tactics. Right, if you're going to criticise him, you've got to give him praise where he's due it. And if you're going to blame him for the Dean Henderson error, because, you know, why did he play didn't play to here, etc. He's giving the boy a chance and he deserves a chance. But anyway, if you're going to blame him for that, then you've got to give him credit for his tactics. This was tactical and this was unbelievable. Pogba starts it. Well, I think it might be Lindelof or Maguire who started with the tackle. Comes to Pogba and it's a delicious Berber spin. Absolutely terrific. And then I think the ball's played through to Fernandez. Um, or oh, who else is it? It might be Matic actually, who's fouled. Then the ball finds its way to Fernandez. He plays it through to Martial. Martial plays it through to Rashford, and Rashford with a finish. It's an unbelievable team goal. Certainly goal of the month for us this uh, this month, and it's definitely going to be a contender for Premier League goal of the month. Like it's just exactly what you want to see. This is Oli Ball in full fluidity, just yeah, winning the ball back and just counter attacking it. Such pace it was wonderful and we should have scored a fourth uh, Rashford could have had his hat trick there was a couple of other half chances in there and this is one of the games where Bru well the only game away from home since he's joined in February which is mad that Bruno hasn't got a goal or an assist but he still created three or four chances I loved tears in the left back position always looking for the forward thinking passing that really helped us um, on the break and just transition really quickly really um, I thought Matic was a little bit sluggish in this game, but a credit to Oli, he got his team selection bang on. He's rested Maguire, uh, Maguire, he's rested McTominay and Fred, who will undoubtedly play in the Leeds game tomorrow. Um, probably alongside Bruno um, and Pogba, with Rashford and Martial up front. Back four will probably stay the same, De Gea will go in net. Uh, so yeah, I, that's what I imagine. It, it'll kind of be like a 4-3-1-2 or 4-2-2-2. A diamond whatever you want to call it you know we'll interchange a bit more and it could be a bit interesting because i know leeds focus on the wing play a lot so it could be a, a thriller be surprised if there's not a lot of booking points in that game as well but yeah it wouldn't be manchester united if uh you know we didn't make it difficult for ourselves and um mcgoldrick again <laughs> gets another goal for sheffield united in about the 83rd minute um i think it's a corner and Lindelof's really unlucky. He had a really good game today. I'd say behind Pogba and uh, Rashford, he, he was probably the third best player with Bruno just behind him, really. Um, but yeah, I mean, Lindelof hits it off McGoldrick's head and uh, it goes in. And then, obviously, Sheffield United are bombing everyone forward and Dean Henderson had to make a really good save. Um, but yeah, thankfully, they didn't get the third. Uh, the last time we played them at Bramble Lane uh, last season... It was 3-3, so thankfully this time it's 3-2 to us. And now, as everyone knows, if we win our game in hand, whenever the fuck that game in hand against Burnley actually gets played, we will move second, two points behind league leaders Liverpool, uh, pending whatever result they get today against Southampton, I think. But yeah, you know, for all the for all the haters, for all the um, stick that Oli gets, it's phenomenal. And one thing I will give Oli so much credit for, he said... Don't judge us until after five games this season because of the limited preseason where we had barely two weeks and we had one game in preseason. You know, we couldn't get up to full fitness. We had players coming back from international duty, having their late holidays, cut, etc. And yeah, he said judge us after five games. And after that fifth game, which I believe was against Spurs, 6-1, we're now top of the form table. If you take away those five games, we're top of the table. And that's exactly what Oli meant. Judges after the five game period. We're, we're on the best form of anyone in the league at the minute. We've won 10 consecutive away Premier League games. Only the third team to do so after Manchester City and Chelsea. Um, so yeah, it's looking good. It, it really is looking good. Hopefully we can keep this going because we've now got the, the momentum and the fully fit squad really. And that's exactly what Oli was saying. Just let, let us build our fitness back up. And we had some poor results. Of course, we did against Palace, against Arsenal, against um, Spurs in particular. 
but we still managed to pick up a couple of points in there um thankfully you know against southampton and that kind of thing no it wasn't southampton was it i can't i can't remember for the life of me there was a couple of games in there but anyway after those five games we've started and that's exactly what ollie was saying give give him time and give him a chance to get the squad fully fit so he's been proved right with that one long may it continue and i'm looking forward to a leeds game which i haven't checked the stats but i think the last time we played them in the premier league was around about 2004 I know we played them in a cup uh, a few years later where they beat us. Um, and then two years ago, we had that friendly where we beat them 4-0. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that because I'm only 24 at the minute, 25 next month. But I haven't seen us play Leeds in a league game uh, live at all. I've seen highlights, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it would have been when I was, what, seven or eight. And I wasn't watching every single game back then. So yeah. Anyhow, looking forward to it. Hopefully we can get another win on the board and just keep climbing up the table. That's all we can uh, hope for. And hopefully mount a title charge. There's no reason why we can't. Every team in the league is looking susceptible to dropping points this season, shall we say. So there's, there's no reason. We've got the quality in the squad. Let's keep it up.